hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tanika Dion all right today's video is going to be a little different well not really different different but not different um basically I just wanted to show my support for the LGBTQ uh, community so um I am doing a pride look since it's pride month and I'm going to be using the Morphe um palette right here and the colors look like this it's a big palette guys so I just have to you know maybe go up and down so you can see all the colors and yeah and so basically I'm just going to be using these colors right on the front of the um, palette um, the purple blue green yellow orange red basically in that order that's exactly what I'm going to do and um, the only thing this palette has all the matte colors of all these rainbow colors but it does not have a matte blue and that you know I did hear that from a lot of people that that was their only complaint that you know the you know, all the colors that you want to use that are here are all matte but they do not have a matte blue. So I am going to be using a matte blue from my ColourPop Blue Moon palette. And I do have a look using this. And I will go ahead and link that above. But I'm going to be using one of these blues. I'm not sure which one that I'm going to use yet. But by the time I start the video, I will know. It will probably be this one right here. This lighter one. Or maybe it might be this one. I don't know. But we'll see once I start uh, putting a look together. And... Um, like I said, I have never done a pride look before or used so many colors, so it's going to be a challenge for me, but I'm up for it. And to apply, I will be using the matching brush set, um, right here. These are all the brushes that come in there, just eye brushes, and they do just flip out like that from the little stands. They just flip right out so you can get them out easier. And I will be using each and every brush in here. I did already use this one right here, which is the eyebrow brush. And, um, yeah. Oh, this is the M158 eyebrow brush. I don't know if you can see that, but. Writing is a little small, but that's what it is. If I don't show it, I will definitely say what the brush is. So, guys, if you'd like to see the look that I attempt to create, um, please continue to watch.
okay guys this is pretty much the eye look i will go ahead and add these lashes right here and they are in the style bay and i'll be completing the rest of my face off camera and i'll be back This is the finished look and yeah, this was my attempt on um, a pride look. I think it came out pretty good for me never to have used so many colors before. The yellow, the orange, the red, green, blue, purple, just like the palette. Like I said, I just used these colors all in a row. That's all I did because um, I had no idea what to do. So I just used those colors and there you go. All right. Now. Um, and I did not show my foundation, of course, because the foundation is not important. Foundation is only important on first impression Fridays for me. So anywho, but you know, in case you were wondering, I did put on the Juvia's Place today and uh, the Juvia's Place foundation and the Juvia's Place concealer with the Jeffree Star uh, setting powder. My lip combination is the NYX um, Hot Red Liner. NYX Hot Red Paired with the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in Missy and Fierce. So these two today uh, for my look. And I thought red complemented it pretty because of the red on the end. I don't know why I picked red, but I did. And I'm glad I did because it came out good. But anywho. Um, yeah, now also before I go, you guys, I just want to say for all my natural ladies out there. Um... I picked up a new line that I never heard of before. Some of you may have, but I have not. But I was just in my local uh, beauty salon, um, locally black owned beauty salon around the corner. And um, he had some stuff. This was actually my second time going there. Um, he's fairly new in the neighborhood. Well, I don't know if he's new, but it's my second time going there. So, you know, so this time I had more time to look around, see the stuff that he had. But yeah, he had this line called Revlon Realistic Black Seed Oil Designed for Natural Hair. And this is the Strengthening Curl Revive um, Spray. And this is what I use right here. Now, I also did buy, by the same line, the shampoo and conditioner, which I did not um, use yet. I'll be using that when I do my uh, wash day, which is, tom what is today? Tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I'll be using the shampoo and conditioner. And also bought the, um, I believe it was the styling custard, which I'm going to use on the wash and go. So, I'm going to use all three of those tomorrow. And I did use this uh, today, like I said, because it's a revive uh, spray. So, I sprayed it all over and... Man, when I tell you that Revlon, and it's only $6.99, all of it was $6.99. The conditioner, um, the shampoo, the styling custard, and the spray. That's the only thing that he had. I don't know if there's other products in the line, but that's all he had. So that is all that I bought. I bought everything that he had. And again, it's designed for natural hair and uh, black seed oil. But anywho, buy Revlon again. So anywho, um, yes, yeah, so this hair is... 10 days old. Yes, it is because, you know, I already told you guys I do not wash my hair every week. I know a lot of naturals do, but that's just not my flow. It's just not. Um, the less um, maintenance and um, touching and stuff that I do to my hair, the better. The more thick and, and, and everything, it just stays. I don't know. I was told that before, so I don't know if it's true, but that's exactly what I do. So I don't wash my hair every week. But anywho. So, yeah, it revived the hell out of these curls. My hair is so dead, it needs to be washed for real. Because the um, hair paint, it kind of weighs down and it does not, my wash and goes don't last long. Because I can get my wash and goes to go every bit of 14 days. Definitely I can. But, um, you know, this one, it's okay. I like it. But it revived these curls, y'all. It revived them. Look at them. Yeah, you still see some frizzy. But me, I kind of like frizzy. Frizzy is not a, you know deal breaker for me i don't mind having a little frizzy and then also to give it more of this lifty lift up here and in the back y'all <sighs> i use this living proof full dry volume blast right here this what is it a volumizing um uh hairspray so i thought it was more like dry shampoo it's not really dry shampoo so anywho um 
yeah so i mean i guess you could use it that way but it's more of a holding spray and volumizing spray like i said but anyway let me get it closer so you can see now i got this in my boxy lux um this month i believe and i was going to put it in the giveaway but i decided to go ahead and use it and what i did was i was holding you know shook it up hold it and picked up pieces and pieces and pieces and just sprayed it up in there and man when i tell you it gave me some lift on this dead hair Woo! I'm so shocked that it worked. This and this both worked today. And I'm very excited that it do because it did because as usual, it is Saturday. My husband and I are throwing yet another barbecue. This is the third one in the in a row. So yeah, people are will be arriving about 3:30. And um, yeah, it is 2:45. So you know, I'm already dressed and all that. I just wanted to come back and let you see my fuller because this is definitely what I'm wearing to the barbecue today and yeah so yeah that's all I wanted to share with you guys just to let you see um the finished look with everything and with the colors on the bottom I just did the exact same thing let me see the exact same thing the green the blue the purple the yellow the orange the red same thing and then I just added a, a liner and I brought the liner out a little bit more and more towards the inner like that. Trying to do something fancy, not knowing what the heck I'm doing. But, you know, I think it came out good anyway. Ooh, bringing me up this close to the camera makes me look like a ghost, y'all. But, you know, I look better than that. I'm not that white for real. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I think everything came out good. So, and yeah, and also just keep in mind, you will see me in this look. I like to tell you guys that so you, you know, you know what's going on in about four videos, seriously, because I've, um, I done two already before I even came back to tell you this is the finished look. I forgot to come back and tell you the finished look actually. So I've actually already filmed two more with this look already anyway. And I'm actually going to do, I think another one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do two. But I'm at least going to do one more because I got some things that came in that I need to go ahead and do. So, anywho, enough rambling, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And you all mean so much to me. And I really appreciate the um, 900 some subscribers that I have. But, subscribers, please watch. Um, the subscribers are nice, but you know, we still got to watch. I mean, cause you know, you get the subscriber, ew, you get the subscribers and you know, they will subscribe, but they don't watch a video. You know what I mean? Your subscribers is going up and all that, but you don't get the watches or the views. And like I said, subscribers are great. I love subscribers, but I also like when people watch, <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, I appreciate you. Bye.